Frail Fragment is a music podcast, but we talk about movies, entertainment, sports, whatever's on our mind, open stream of consciousness, in awareness, and make things, making it a little comical on the side. Frail Fragments, Monster Classics. Hey, bro. What's up, uh, What's going on, man? Just chilling over here. Beautiful weather. Yeah, it's really nice. It's a little even cold. It's like 20 degrees. In the morning, it gets it, huh? Yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> What is it, Thursday today? Thursday, June 27, 2024? Yeah. Uh, Monster Closet episode 61. It's been a while. Ace has been uh, traveling the fucking world. What, what, what have you been doing the last couple of weeks, bro? How Mr. was your trip? Guy, Where'd you buddy? go? Where'd you go? The Orange Mountains of Utah. Hey, you went to fucking Utah, of all the places. What did you do? You have your <laughs> eyes closed and you just fucking spun the fucking globe and wherever it landed, that's where you went? What made you pick Utah, Around bro? Around my fingertips. Uh, well, the flight was cheap, though. I'll give you that. Uh, okay. I went to Vegas, too, right? Oh, nice. That's yeah. cool. Won some money, won gamble? some cash. Nice. Oh, buddy. Buddy. Blackjack. What did you win in? Blackjack, eh? Holy fuck, dude. Yeah, $50 minimum table. There, I, I actually <laughs> accidentally went to a uh, $200 minimum table. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, fuck that. I'm going to... <laughs> <laughs> I just I just cashed in and then I just got my chips and I'm going there. <laughs> yeah, that could that could fucking end your vacation real fucking quick. Thir- oh, buddy, two hundred dollar minimum bet. Fuck. Oh fuck. That's US too, eh? And you were up. You won money. Yeah, me and my girl uh, hit a table. The guy was teaching us how to play. It was free bet, free bet blackjack. Yeah. So uh, we played. I was like, uh, there should be a better advantage of more people, right? Yeah. Two bells turned into eight. I was like, we're done. We're done. I'm gone. I'm casting out. Let's be humble here. You 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 were up six hundred dollars in how long? Oh, that was fucking fast. Maybe about, I'd say twenty minutes. Because we grabbed your shit. Right, we shooting the shit. And then another person came. He was talking about he had a Filipino wife. Nice. I'm You're on a high at that point. Party. Fucking just won 600 bucks on a high after like an hour. Oh, yeah. I got some drinks. Fucking hit up the telly. You're good. We're dead. We're done. Hey, bro. What a good night. And what it, What else uh, What else happened in Vegas? Oh, well, you know what they say. Whatever happens. Yeah, so, oh, okay, so you're not going to share with the Monster <laughs> Closet audience? You're in the Monster Closet right now, son. What you mean, man? I mean, you got to share how you <laughs> left your car in some fucking parking lot. What happened with that? Ups and downs, then. Ups and downs. Listen, it was the last day. We're like, well, let's just <laughs> fucking hit the strip. Let's fucking walk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're like, oh, fuck, where do we park? Where do we park? Where do we park? <laughs> Boom, we saw we see a Walgreens, which is like a, a metro of can of the United States, right? Yeah. Fucking Walgreens, not knowing we they had a fucking sign. We start walking the fucking strip, sweating our asses off. Yeah. Fucking come back to fucking another car in our spot. I'm like, bruh. Wow, bruh. Call the fucking number on the sign. Do 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 do. I was like, yo, I think we, I think our car got towed. To your place. He's like, yeah, this is our address. Come here. <laughs> fucking. Ten minutes later, we fucking go. <laughs> Junkyard go Willie? Fuck- <laughs> Say what? Junkyard Willie's there? What you guys talking about? <laughs> 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 fucking, we arrive. Bulletproof glass. Fucking, we have holes you gotta speak through. Yeah. Like a fucking prison sentence, man. They're yeah. like, give us your license and registration. I'm like, I don't have that. That's a fucking rental. I showed them the receipt <laughs> of the rental. They they did what they had to do. I had to show my own personal insurance. I don't know why. But once I, once <laughs> yeah. I gave it to him, he was like waving his hand saying, I don't know what the fuck to do. 
<laughs> so whatever they they know it was a rental, and then uh, three bills later, we fucking got our car back. Long story. Three hundred American dollars. That's American, man. So that's four hundred Canadian. That's like four, four fifty, four fifty. <laughs> you heard me? Yeah, bro. It was fucked, man. So you broke even at the end of the day, pretty it much. It got me fucked up. Yeah, I mean, what a high to a low, right? Highs and lows, bro. Yo, you know fucking Vegas is it's like a freak show. It's like the hills have eyes. It's white people yeah. living with their moms eating Bailey. fucking mayonnaise sandwiches, bro. It's fucking a scary place to be. Like the the yeah. the in the you know, the people that have are ingrained into that city are fucked up, bro. All right? Well, yeah. That's what I heard anyway. Like they're uh, they're shooting. I mean, you have that, people. you have that, but then you have like celebrities that don't want to spend sixteen dollars, sixteen million on a mansion in LA, and they could right. sp- spend that same money. They could spend four million and get the exact same fucking place in Vegas, right? So you have that too, like Polly sure. D and Aoki and all these fucking guys that have their compounds in fucking Vegas. But okay. I mean, the ones that are living in like little houses, like struggling and shit, like we are here. Those guys are fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, there's a trailer park it's, right in right by the city. It's a freak show, bro. Yeah, I saw him. I saw him. Yeah. Yo, I'm uh, I'm glad uh, I'm glad you went. So you guys had a good time, ups yeah, and downs, very but good a good time. time. Man. Very good time. Yeah. I, I'd say re- I'd recommend. I'd recommend because we saw a little a lot of uh, scenery as well. We don't we didn't just go there for the uh, entertainment, right? Mm-hmm. They have uh, natural mm-hmm. wonders, you know what I mean? Death Valley wonders was the right world. there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cool, the man. Um, what? Say it again. What'd you say? I said none. <laughs> <laughs> well, th- this weekend, just to switch gears a bit, it's going to be exciting. Um, Italy have made it to the round of 16, so they're going to play a 12 okay. against Switzerland. I got I put thirty dollars on Italy to win, and then I would get seventy two dollars back, and I put twenty dollars on Italy just for shits to win the Euro. And that'll give me three hundred. So we'll see what happens. It's a That's big a game for me. It's a big game for me, and then we got fucking UFC three hundred three, which I'm definitely gonna fucking steal, bro. Oh, but you got Alex versus Yuri. Who do you got, bro? We're going to go into it, eh? I got Yuri by knockout, man. I think that's a good bet, man. That's a good bet. Yuri's unorthodox. I feel like he was uncomfortable the first time they fought. Like most yeah. people um, are Check uncomfortable it. when they fight Pereira. But, I mean, all Yuri has to do is get in on him, grab yeah, him, savage. take him down. Take, take him down and be the barbarian that he is and fucking just eat him for breakfast on the ground. <clears throat> so, but if Yuri decides to be a samurai and try to fucking strike with them, he's probably going to get knocked out again. Who knows? But there's a yeah. good chance he could get knocked out. But Yuri could knock out uh, Pereira too, but I wouldn't try <laughs> striking with him. I would have spent the last fucking six weeks of your training camp or wh- however long it was concentrating on the fucking takedown and the ground and pound. If you could do, if they, Grapple if he it. was concentrating that, if he was concentrating on that, for the last six weeks of his training camp, for his training camp, if he was concentrating on that, he's going to beat the fuck out of prayer, okay? That, that's break, that's it. The but if he tries striking with them, it's very, it's a very dangerous move, right? But I mean, if you want to live by the sword and die by the sword and test your spirit and test and see how good you are on uh, standing, that's admirable too. Like, I get it. Like, you, you know, oh he's God. a true warrior. He's a true warrior. And speaking of that, like, Machado and Paige, dude, like, I was checking out Paige yesterday, and that guy's, like, fucking the last airbender or some shit like that. Like, that guy's fucking, he's, he is so fast and precise with his timing, and he can do so much. Um, It's just, it's, it's amazing to see. Machado's a bit stronger than the last guy he fought. Who's the last guy that, uh, who's the last Kung Fu guy? Jeff Neal, or? No. You fought Jeff Neal? Didn't fight Jeff Neal. Or was it a no? It was the other black, the it was a black guy he fought. Which... Was it Neil Magny? No man, fuck. Who the fuck? It's a kung fu guy. Oh, Holland, Holland. He like flawless victoried Holland. Like Holland yeah. couldn't even touch him, bro. It was weird. 
Holland couldn't traded. believe Holland couldn't believe what happened. He couldn't believe he was in the ring with such greatness. Uh-huh. Like that guy fucking skated around Holland and beat the fucking shit out of him. And Holland didn't even know what was happening. Holland has never seen that before. Holland has never experienced that before. I mean, this guy's a special fighter. He's like an Anderson Silva, but like just he's so fast and his timing is so amazing. I mean, I've never seen anything like that. I mean, but Machado's stronger than that last guy that he beat the fuck out of who we were just talking about. Machado's and Machado's going to bring it. He's going to come forward. He's going to come forward. So it's going to be a sick fight, dude. And then, not, uh, you know, then you have Bueno Silva, the girl, uh, uh, versus Chiasen, or whatever her name is. Chiasen, yeah. And, and, and I haven't even seen that bitch fight. Oh, that's the, that girl, the blonde chick? No, that, that's the other one. This is another uh, okay. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but, th- but, this, but this Bueno Silva girl, she fights like a man. She look yeah. like a man, and she fight like a man. You understand? So I'm gonna <laughs> give it. Th- I'm gonna say she, she just beast mauls that m- motherfucking bitch from France. Um, Ortega yeah. versus Lopez. I mean, that's gonna be a brutal war. I, I you know, I want Ortega to win, right? Like, I, I'm, I'm a ride or die Ortega guy. He's like the fundamental fucking Brazilian jiu jitsu, and I mean, that's what got me into UFC. You know, Vice Gracie and like, so Ortega is my guy. Um, Alex versus Yuri. I think it's a good time to bet on Yuri. Uh, but I want Alex to win, right? Like, I, I like Alex. Alex is the fucking... He's he's Saget. You know what I mean? He's he's just a special... He's, he's a, a special striker, man. He's, he's a special an striker. Yeah. And, and so is Paige, bro. And so is Machado. Oh, this is a sick sick UFC, bro. People are, are underestimating this card, eh? Uh, I don't know why. Uh, just quickly, before while you were while you were in uh, Nevada or whatever the fuck you were, I was uh, we played a show in Peterborough on Saturday, June twenty second. We were we got a lot of funny footage that you could check out on YouTube right now. Uh, we po- I posted it on YouTube uh, yesterday and today. <coughs> check it out; it's really cool. Um, and I kind of revamped my um, YouTube to have like videos go certain places and tell stories. I, we released on YouTube today um, the Garden of Eaton um, AI video by uh, Dr. T Show and myself. Uh, you know, I created the music and the story. Um, the Garden of Eaton, it's like a zombie kind of story, uh, about five minutes long. Um, AI to my, my song. Um, you know, and then I, I have like a, an un, uh, you know, an unreleased. So the washer dryer video i'm gonna release the official video in uh for halloween but right now this if you check it out it's really cool video i'm really proud of it ben rayburn from primal note studios did it and i'm really happy with that we're gonna be pushing that um in the next couple of weeks but it's out there now for you guys to see if you guys are listening i'm excited for that i'm excited to get back into playing acoustic guitar because for the dakota tavern i want to be strapped with an acoustic guitar um Yeah, so we got all these things coming up. Frailfragment.com, keep it locked. Uh, today I'm going to bring, uh, today it's my, my kids. My son made it through fucking junior kindergarten. He was probably the youngest in the whole school because uh, he was born like, you know, November 26th. Uh, right? So he was, he's, he's still only four years old, right? So he's finishing junior kindergarten and he made it through and I'm like really proud of him and my daughter. She's going to be going into grade uh, two now. She's finishing grade one. My son's going to be going into senior kindergarten. So tonight, it's a nice day to bring them to the park. I'm going to bring them to the park. I'm going to have a wad of cash in my uh, pocket. Go to shoppers, get them some fucking popsicles and shit to give out to all the kids. Buy a couple of boxes of popsicles. You got to buy the hand wipes too because it's a fucking mess. And you got to buy like a paper towel or a fucking Kleenex or whatever the fuck you to wipe your hands off, right? So, I mean, this is what it is. But it's the second last day of school. These kids deserve it. It was an awesome year. If the ice cream truck comes too... Like, I mean, uh, I have money yeah, nice in case, but I'm going to get, I'm going to get the popsicles before we get to the park. And that's my afternoon, bro. So, uh, um, just hopping on quickly. 
uh, getting back into the swing of things. I'm really busy right now. Um, you know, I want to concentrate on getting back in shape too and just kind of, I don't know, just uh, taking care of myself, get back into meditating. I haven't been meditating this week. Just been so fucking busy. But check out our YouTube channel. Check out Frau Fragments. Uh, Ace, we're going to hear more about your vacation um, next podcast. Oh, buddy. This is the Monster Closet episode number 61, Thursday, June 27th, 2024. We'll see you soon, guys. Um, Take it easy. Peace. Peace. Frail Fragments, Monster Classics.